There's TV cameras everywhere. I'm so nervous, I'm shaking like this. It's my big moment. Right before you go out to do your tricks, you know the announcer gets the microphone and says, Ladies and gentlemen, up next from Chicago, Illinois, Matt Wilhelm. So I my first trick, thank you. My big moment, I go up, start spinning like this, take both hands off, like I'm back on the handlebars, I stop the landing, cross just like crazy. And I start thinking, dude, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna win a gold medal. I look up on the big scoreboard for the results, you know where it says first, second, third. And guess what place I got? Who said last? I can hear you, okay? <laughs> well, whoever said last, you're actually right. Every voice in my head told me to give up. But if there's one thing we can never do, we can never do. So that next year, I went back to the state. That next year, that same announcer said, Ladies and gentlemen, up next, last year's last place finisher. I did a perfect run, went on to win three X Games medals, two national titles, and over 20 first place victories. All because I didn't give up. So I want you guys to remember, never give up. When you make a mistake or if something's hard, don't listen to the voice that says you're not good enough. Listen to the one that says never give up. I'm three, let's say never give up. One, two, three. Never give up. Let's do some more tricks. Bikers, the skaters, we were the kids who got picked on. We were different. We didn't fit in. To make things worse, I was a skinny, dorky looking bike. I had something called asthma. My mom would be like, Don't play in the grass! Don't drink that milk! Don't kiss that puppy! You're gonna die! I had to see a speech therapist from third grade until eighth grade. I could not say the letter S. It sounded more like S. So at the top of the hill, we'd get right in the ride. And these tough guys show up. So they come up, and they make some silly joke about my ears. But since they were the cool kids, you know what everybody in the crowd did? They laugh. So now they surround me. They start pushing me. I brace for the beat down. I needed somebody to save me. Or maybe, just maybe, a regular kid in the crowd would have the courage to speak up and go, hey, leave me alone. Just like that. But the truth is, nobody had the courage. Instead of standing up for me, everybody, they all just stood there. And with that, they pushed me down. I fell from the top of the hill, all the way to the bottom, and after that it was pretty much over. I didn't even stand a chance. Did it hurt? Absolutely. But what hurt worse was looking up, seeing everyone else towering over me, laughing, pointing their fingers, yelling out insults. After that day at the dirt jumps, this guy named Glenn came up to me. He goes, just to let you know, you can always ride with me. Now that might not sound like a big deal to you, but Glenn also rode BMX, and he had a whole bunch of friends from a different school that rode too. I was hoping that one of them knew karate. I picture going back up there, confront the bullies, and he'd be like, what's up now? <laughs> but the truth is, his friends weren't that strong, they didn't know karate, they were just a regular group of guys. So a week later, after I thought my life was over, I went back up to those same dirt jumps once again. Only this time, I wasn't alone. This time it was me, Glenn, and all of his friends. And a funny thing happened, when those tough guys showed up this time, they didn't say a word, not one word, not even a joke about my news. They never picked on me again. And just like that, Glenn became my man. Glenn was my Batman. 
You see, sometimes you can be a hero by just doing something simple like being a friend. So my question to you is this. What kind of small little thing can you do for someone else? I'm asking you today to be that one person. If you see someone being picked on, pushed around, or just call the name like yours, don't laugh, don't stand around with your cool friends. Have the courage to speak up. Your words are powerful. The world needs you. So do it. Be somebody's hero. Be somebody's Batman.